Hey everybody, I'm Garrick DeMeyer from Royal Constrictor Designs. Uh, I know you've been watching my videos over the past few weeks when we've had our contest, our celebration of our new website. We've been giving out prizes every week. And uh, I don't know if you remember, but in the first video, only a few weeks ago, I had 98 clutches of ball pythons incubating so far. Now I'm up to 192. I've had, I think, 31 clutches laid in the last five days. And what's funny is they, they seem to hold their clutches until the weekend or a holiday. Like over the Memorial Day weekend that we just had, one day I got eight clutches, the next, another day I got 14 clutches, and then the day after I got another eight clutches. And then today I've gotten one so far, but I really haven't checked through very many of my breeders yet. So they are coming really fast. And just so you know, I'm gonna be announcing the winner of the grand prize for our contest uh, at the end of this video. So you gotta wait just a couple minutes, okay? So yeah, I've been hatching a lot of stuff out lately. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna briefly show these. I'll show these more in depth once I really get a chance to look at them and figure it out. And you know, a lot of the stuff is kind of more common stuff anyway, but just wanna show you that, that they're hatching. Uh, this one's a GHI Lavender Het Pied to Pied Het Lavender Clutch. So I got a nice, these guys are just shedding now. This one's actually the only one that shed so far. It's a GHI Pied 100% Het Lavender. And then we have a Dream Sickle here. I'm not sure if that's going to be a GHI or not. I kind of want to see how its color turns out. Um, yeah, it's hard to say with that one. And then a couple others in here. So pretty cool stuff. Um, let's see, this clutch you've seen before already. This is the Super Mojave, or I'm sorry, Super GHI Mojave clutch that I showed, I think, last week. Uh, let's see, what else we got in here? This clutch actually was kind of a disappointment, but it's already shed. Uh, the Lavender Hat Pie to a possible double head. It's just one of my first possible double heads that I produced years ago, and she never produced for me. Um, until this year and she proved out to be het pied and not het lavender and it didn't even get very many pieds out of it so a little bit disappointing this clutch i'm pretty excited about once they shed i got to see what they actually are but uh this is from banana enchi calico yellow belly het ultramel to ultramel and judging by this one this looks like a a leopard ultramel combo of some kind uh so this one i i know i have a pastel Enchi Leopard Head Ultramel Breeder 2, and I think I actually used both males with this clutch. So this one may have actually come from the Pastel Enchi uh, Leopard Head Ultramel. So really cool stuff in here. I see with this banana, the eyes are pretty red looking, so I'm thinking that might be an Ultramel banana, but I don't know yet. So I'm just going to kind of leave them sit, and then once I once they shed, I'll hope you be able to tell a little bit better. And this clutch here, these guys I just took out of the incubator a few minutes ago, uh, this is from a pastel pied het clown bred to a double het, and no uh, no clown pieds, but got a really nice clown there, nice pastel clown, really really nice pied. Um, I've got some color enhancing gene of some kind going on in my clown pied project as well, so I think a lot of those oranges and really vivid colors are coming from that. Almost looks like an orange dream pied. Um, let's see. Another pied. So with this pairing, all the clowns are 100% het pied, and the pieds are 66% possible het clown. So I got a total of two pieds, a pastel. I'm sorry, two clowns, a pastel clown, and this is a pied in here. I think it's a pastel, and this is a pied here, and then yeah, just a normal and two pastels too. So yeah, anyway, the clutches are hatching now. They're starting anyway, and it's gonna be a really busy season. I can't even get my head around the number of babies that I'm gonna be hatching out over the next couple of months. So if you actually wanna see what I have available to sell, uh, which we'll be getting all these up on the website as soon as we get five or six meals in them. Uh, so if you wanna see what I have for sale, make sure to check out my website, my brand new website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. Same URL as the old one, but all new revamped website. Really like it a lot. Very happy with it. I've had a great feedback on it as well. So anyway, let's get down to it. I know you guys wanna know who won and what they won. So I said it's a mystery snake. So I'm gonna reveal that right now. I'm gonna also reveal the winner. 
Okay, so the winner is Stephen Kelly from AJ's Exotics. Um, I've actually been in contact with Stephen and he told me that he bought his first pair of ball pythons from me back in 2013. So kind of cool coming around full circle and coming back for more. So anyway, what he won is a male cryptic pinstripe. He told me that he does have clown in his collection. So this is a very good snake to just plug right into his clown stuff. And it should do great for him. You know, if he feeds it well, he'll be ready to breed this upcoming season around by probably by about December. And he should be ready to go. And he can plug that into any clown that he has and produce cryptons and clowns with it. So, Stephen, I hope you like it. And I'll be in contact with you very soon so we can finalize uh, getting this guy out there for you. And hopefully he'll work awesome for you. So I love the Kryptons. I've, I'm one of the earlier people that came out with Kryptons. Um, kind of a you know morph that I'm really doing a lot of stuff with. I'm going to have a lot of awesome, awesome Krypton combos coming out this year. So this is a, basically a visual double hat for Cryptic and Clown. I've showed them in numerous videos in the past. But anyway, that's the snake that Steven won. Uh, retail value I think is $1,500. So... Nice, nice value there too. So yeah, if you're interested in any Kryptons, make sure to check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. Also follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Um, I try to post as much stuff as I can during the hatching season now. I'm going to be posting a lot more.